Welcome back everyone, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about how can we use blockchain in healthcare. Now we have talked about the technical aspect of blockchain, we have talked about what is blockchain, how can we use Ethereum and Hyperledger, those are the technical things right. But then the question still arises: where can we use it? In fact, we know one of the most famous use case for blockchain, which is cryptocurrency. So everyone's, everyone's talking about bitcoins, they are talking about some alternate coins, but where else we can use it? Now, one of the best use cases for blockchain is healthcare. So let me share my personal experience before talking about how we can use it technically. So last week, I met with a small accident uh, because of which I got some minor injuries on my face and then uh, two headline fractures on my wrist and on my leg. So I met with the accident, I was a bit unconscious, so they took me the, to the hospital, nearby hospital basically. And so they have, so of course when you're going to the hospital you have to fill the form first. Uh, thankfully other people they have filled the form for me. And when I was inside, doctor came to me and then he was asking some questions. Of course it makes sense to ask your name uh, because they were checking if I'm, if I'm properly conscious or there's something wrong with me. Uh, maybe I'm in shock. Uh, so they were asking me some questions. Now, before giving any medication, they wanted to ask me some more questions, which is a bit complex. Do I have any allergy uh, from the medicines or do I have uh, diabetes? So they were asking all these questions. The, the thing is, I was a bit unconscious, right? So I was trying to answer the questions, but then what if I'm a diabetic patient and I'm saying no? What if I, I do have an allergy, but then I'm not able to recall the name of the medicine? Uh, so this, this, that, that was one issue. Of course, we'll, we'll talk about it, how can we solve that, but that was the issue, right? Why don't they create a centralized database where all the hospitals can share the same uh, same information? Yes, it is implemented in some of the countries. Uh, so they have this HIE where they can have, uh, where they can exchange information between hospitals. Uh, but then there are still some issues which you have to address. And in some countries, we don't even have that system. Uh, the second problem is, uh, so from last month, I'm taking a lot of medications. So at, at least having two or three tablets per day. Uh, I don't like medicines, but then if you are taking a medicine and that means you are trying to recover yourself, but what if the medicines which you are taking, maybe you're, buy, you're buying it from uh, some medical or you're buying it from, uh, from online, how can you make sure that the, the medicines which you're buying is original? What if it can be fake one? Uh, so I'm not saying these pharmaceutical companies will do it on purpose, but what if middlemen, what if the uh, suppliers, they're doing some, uh, they're they are changing the products. How can you be sure that you're you are taking a light medication? Uh, so that, that, those are the two issues we have to address. Uh, so how can we use blockchain here? Now, now first of all, uh, just to reiterate, blockchain is a distributed ledger. So basically, you, all the information will be stored in a decentralized way. So no one will own your data. Everything will be distributed between different uh, between nodes, between entities, and it is immutable. So no one can change it, right? Uh, of course, it can be implemented with different features. We have talked about those things. If you're not sure about how blockchain works and technically, and if you want to know about it, uh, you will find the link in the description where we'll, I, will have, I will have the playlist link. Uh, the thing is, when you talk about blockchain, of course, it is decentralized and it, you, it is immutable. So what if all the hospitals share the same information? Now, first of all, uh, there, are, there are certain issues here. The first issue is even if you have a centralized database where all the hospitals are sharing the information about a patient, uh, the first issue is what if a given hospital don't want to share the information? Uh, so let's say I go to a hospital A every time and then they have all my health records in the centralized database. And this time I met with the accident, I, I went to hospital B. Now, what if hospital B wants my information from hospital A and hospital A can say, hey, we don't have the information so they can block the information. So that, that's the first one. Uh, second one if uh, so second one is what if they want to share the information, but what if the information in the database is not correct? Maybe it is corrupted or maybe the while they were entering data, there was some so there were some issues or maybe the information was old. Maybe I, I, now I was not diabetic before, but now I am diabetic. So what if that's the case? So those are some issues with the centralized database. The second one is why would a hospital stop or block the information sharing? Maybe uh, they will lose patients or maybe they want some rewards in return. Uh, so maybe hospital A will say, hey, you are charging some amount to uh, the patient. You have to, sh you have to give some commission for that information. And maybe the B hospital is not ready to do that. Uh, so that's, that's one, one scenario. Uh, so how can we solve that? The first way we can do, do is 
instead of saving the information in central database which can be corrupted which can uh, they can have a power right so, so hospital a has a power to not share my information because they own my data so my health records is owned by a hospital uh, i don't have the power to access my own records that's the issue so what if we can have a centralized database where every patient will get an identifier and they will hold the information so they will have a power for the information which will be in central database so every hospital you visit to they will request for your information from you so you can provide the access so if you say maybe you can have an app on your mobile phone and say a hospital will ask you for hey uh, we want to treat you but we, we want your information and maybe by doing something on your phone you can share the information right that's that should be the best way by doing this your uh, your privacy is also maintained of course not everyone will know about your health records we i don't want to share my health records with everyone uh, so it will be on the distributed data it will be on the decentralized internet but it will be anonymous right no one will know your records of course we can implement that with public blockchain or with the help of private blockchain it makes more sense to have this type of scenarios for private blockchain those things can be can be solved with the help of blockchain here uh, so you as a patient you can provide the access for the for your information so you basically own your data and the amazing thing is your data will be always updated so let's say uh, you got some some disease now so you go to a hospital maybe a small clinic even those people can update your data here this is what they you have been diagnosed with now the second issue is the the drugs which you which you take now the thing is uh, when you talk about uh, the pharmaceuticals company or the hospitals sometimes they they order the medicines in bulk of course they will not they may not be using uh, uh, all the medicines in one year so what they do is they they buy in bulk and they return some of the products some of the some of the medicines back to the company uh, so what if the hospitals is not returning the right products they are they are changing the products they are they are replacing the original with original one with the fake one and they are giving it back to the pharmaceuticals in fact uh, pharmaceuticals companies are facing billions of loss every year because of this uh, maybe the the products which are getting supplied from the company to the patients are getting changed in between so what if you save you have all the information or you have the information about the product in a blockchain uh, in fact this is more of a, of a use case for supply chain management or supply chain basically where the entire information about a product will be there on the blockchain of course no one can corrupt it because it's you can't corrupt database right you can't corrupt the, the blockchain network uh, so that's one thing you can do so every product which you take we can so when they manufacture the product they will have it on the blockchain and when it moves from one part to second part everyone will update hey this is what they have received this is what they have received so even if someone is doing some malicious work there they are changing the products everyone will come to know at what point uh, they have changed the product in fact as a consumer you can check the manufacture of the product and when it was manufactured maybe they they can also change the expired date right so uh, they can change the labels but with the help of blockchain if you have the information with you so you will have all the information from where it started and how it reached to you right so that's how we can use blockchain for healthcare uh, in fact let me know what your thoughts are maybe there, there can be some more use cases for, for blockchain in healthcare but this too is very very common for me uh, the first one is i want all the health records should be shared between the hospitals but then only you as a patient you have the power to share it in fact you know uh, there are a lot of companies they want your data for research purpose uh, in that case they are taking your data from hospitals now and then hospitals are earning money uh, because of your data uh, so maybe in future you can you have the permission to your, for your data right so you can get rewards for sharing your data for research purpose that's your choice again you have a power for it uh, now you don't hospitals can use your data in any way they want uh, and then let's see how they can implement in fact once once we can start using supply chain uh, once we start using blockchain supply chain surely it will be implemented in healthcare as well so that's it. that's about from this video where we talked about how can we use blockchain in the healthcare in fact i will try to upload more videos on different use cases for blockchain let me know your thoughts on this uh, so that's it from this video bye, -bye.